What's up, you guys? And welcome to another episode of Adulting with Joy Spring this time around. So very special. Perhaps the most special guest I've ever had on the podcast. Not saying that the other guests that I had weren't special. Parang ikaw lang talaga yung pinaka special. Kumbaga, parang the one. Huh? Huh? The one? Yeah. I Bring really, home the one. I really brought home the one. Why don't you Trevinia, everybody? Hello, everyone. How are I you? Love. How are you? I'm kind of nervous that you're on the podcast. Uh-huh. Why? I don't know, because the last time that you were on the podcast, you were not even dating yet. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember when that. When we did that podcast in 2018. But now, you're back, and um, it's very special. Dahil nga, Feb Ibig, it's the love month. Uh-huh. And um, on this episode, we'll actually be telling you guys about our love story, our Kwentong Jollibee, our very own Kwentong Jollibee. Kwentong Jollibee talaga to. Totoong Kwentong Jollibee siya dahil sobrang big part siya ng love story natin. <laughs> oh, burger steak love to. <laughs> this is a burger steak love. It's a two-piece burger steak kind and of love. And peach mango pie. Yes, and, and, and all of that. Okay, so let's start from the very, very, very beginning. A lot of people think na... We started out um, learning about each other and getting to know one another through unang hirit. But yeah. not even though you say that we keep retelling this story, not everyone knows that we met each other way back in 2014, 2014. which is six years ago. So tell them about that, love. So we met uh, in, a, in an event mm-hmm. where uh, you hosted and I was a guest. Yeah. I was one of the guests. And uh, I was kind of wishing that you were the host and... There why you were you were. wishing? Tell them why. Crush on you, eh? Yeah. <laughs> See, See, Joyce, because online sensation. You know? <laughs> 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 online sensation. So pretty, dito to. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, Writer lang ako sa Tumblr. My uh, my friends would share your photos, mm-hmm. and uh, I would uh, you know I would I would hop on the bandwagon of uh, Joy Spring lovers. Mm. Or, uh, admirers. Wow. So when you hosted, um, I got the chance to have a picture with you. Mm-hmm. And then you asked for my picture as well. Yeah, because I was so fascinated. I'd never seen anyone with such thick eyebrows. It's like, wow. Oh, that's yun. talaga yun. Very consistent naman ang kwento niya from uh, the very beginning. Yes. <laughs> and I started following her and uh, messaging her. Uh, since that event, mm-hmm. and then and the the rest was history. Yeah, we started. Um, so every year, Wancho would would end up messaging me on Twitter. So parang from 2014. Lapang Instagram. Wala pang, well, may Instagram naman pero hindi pa siya super sikat. So parang Twitter pa yung thing non. Wala pang DM sa Instagram. Wala pang time. DM sa Instagram. So you would always DM me on Twitter. You you were sliding on my DMs even before sliding in DMs was a <laughs> yeah. thing. But his his slides were super, super sweet. As in, parang, hello, happy birthday, Merry Christmas. Are Tap- you okay? Are, are you, you okay? Sick? Are you sick? Can I request a song? Yeah, and then he would tweet me pa. You would tweet me and ask for songs while I'm on the radio. Yeah. And then there was this one time, I think parang you replied pa, grabe, feel strip talaga yung mga songs mo dyan sa radio. <laughs> Alam niyo ma- specifically yung tweet ko. Oo, uh, uh, yun talaga. Kasi stinock ko yun eh, nung time na naniligaw ka na sa akin. Sabi ko, is this the same guy that was tweeting me before? And true enough, it really was the same guy. And so, that kind of just um, all... I guess it just concluded when we were together in Unang Hirid na and then we started dating. Um, but the Kwentong Jollibee is that whenever we travel from... So we were the remote... We are the remote hosts in Unang Hirid. Ibig sabihin, we would always be the ones outside of the studio. Yeah. So we'd always be in like Bulacan. So when we were starting out, we were always in Bulacan, in La Union. Enlex, Eslex. Batangas. As in talagang, name it, we've been there. Yep. We've traveled there for Unang Hirid. Lahat na talaga ng lugar na puntahan namin. And the one meal that we would always share, whether that's breakfast or lunch, is Jollibee. Jolly hot dog. Jolly hot dog. Two piece burger steak. Or two piece burger steak. Or peach mango pie. Peach mango para magpaka happy. Or some soda. And um, <laughs> some chocolate sundae. Uh-huh. Lahat na lang ginawa natin. So yung kwentong Jollibee namin palagi ni Wancho is. Because nga, Jollibee yung lagi naming food whenever we're traveling in and out of Metro Manila for unang hirit, we would always really find comfort in that. Parang yun yung naging comfort food natin. Comfort food, absolutely. Right? Mm-hmm. And I remember when, when, when I was sick, 
parang yun yung lagi mong dinadalang pagkain sa akin, remember? Ang <laughs> daming Jollibee kasi sila. <laughs> Laging ganun. That's, yeah. uh, that's always, um, that's always the, the go-to food that you'd give me. So love, okay, i-interviewin kita dahil nga oh, podcast sige. ko to. So, um, Introduction pa lang pala. Oh, uh, intro pa lang yon. You know, the theme of Kwentong Jollibee in February is true love conquers all. Okay. For you, what was it that you had to conquer to find your true love in me, your wife? Yeah. Wifey. Well, um, a lot of things, mm-hmm. uh, but uh, the toughest one, I guess, is um, it has to be the norm of uh, show business. Mm-hmm. Nobody gets married uh, this early, mm-hmm. and um, not we not have, nobody, not a lot of people. Yeah, not a lot of people get married. Uh, 25, 26. Parang it's major frowned upon. Yeah, uh, maraming questions that go with it. Um, but then I had to fight for it, you know. Uh, I, I knew what I wanted already and I wanted to be with you because not only does it make me happy, it um, I, I felt that in my heart it was right. Mm-hmm. And all the all the signs, you know, alam mo naman yung pinagdaanan natin with, uh, with, our, our, um, with our church, with um, our counseling and stuff. And we, we passed all those things and we just stayed together. And, you know, I, I knew in my heart that it wasn't just what I wanted. It mm-hmm. was what God gave me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people also um, keep asking us about premarital counseling, yeah. right? So just a little bit of a background. But it's just one of those things that we want. It's not a prerequisite the with CCF, with the church that we attend to. But yeah. it was one of those things that we really wanted to do to try and prepare for this new phase in our life that we knew we wanted. Um, sometimes we get the questions, now, how do you know if you're with the one, with the right person. And I feel like going through counseling and asking the counsel of people who are who you respect and who you really love. Who has been there. Yeah, who's also been married, diba, uh-huh. will really help you. So premarital counseling was just like parang a seven session thing that we attended in church. It was a one on mer mga classes na ganon, but then for us it was a one on one session with our counselors, uh, with another married couple who really walked us through like what does marriage really mean? What does it really mean to be married to someone? What's the kind of relationship that you guys will be having once you're married? So yeah. it really set the pace for us and it really changed everything for us. It right? also tested how we were compatible for each other. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, a lot of issues were digged up and yeah. uh, it kind of yeah tested our bond and we past that. So I'm yeah. happy about it. And you know, alam mo, minsan nakakatakot kasi parang sometimes people would say na don't rock the boat as early as now. Kasi you might lose that person. But for me, and I think for Wancho also, it was kind of different in that we wanted to rock the boat as early as that. Second month pa lang. <laughs> <laughs> Second month pa lang. Grabe. Actually, Feb. Feb. Oh, 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 mga Feb, Feb, yeah. Feb 10, 2019. Yes. Uh, I surprised you in Tagaytay together with your friends, Sila Faith and Dan. Mm-hmm. And uh, when I surprised you and you said I thought you were going to propose, mm-hmm. I got startled because that hasn't entered my mind yet. And then you said that um, if you proposed, you alam mo naman mag yes ako. Pero Siyempre, hindi pa rin naman natin alam. Hindi naman ano natin alam yung pinagsasabi, pinagsasabi natin. natin <laughs> na, <laughs> dala na emotion, oh. but you know, everything just worked out. And it, I, I um, immediately considered and parang, parang sabi ko, oh nga, no, parang ito na yung gusto ko wow. at this point. So, Feb is, oo. Pero yung kwento mo naman talaga. yung uh, kwento mo kay Faith yon yung best friend ko, tapos na startle siya. <laughs> Sinabi ko na sa kanya na magpapakasal tayo? Hindi, ko na tumang sa kanya na gusto mo na mag-propose. Oh yes, yes. Oh, gusto ko na mag-propose. <laughs> Tapos nabaliw si Faith. Nabaliw siya. In, dinala ko siya sa ano eh, sa parang corridor. Mm-hmm. And, uh, <laughs> kinorner, sorry, kinorner mo sa hallway. And uh, I, I told her that um, I want, I, I plan to propose mm-hmm. to, to, to you. And Sana naman to me, no? Oh, <laughs> to her pala. Hindi lang yan. Actually, marami akong pinagdaanan. Siyempre, kay Mama Betsy din. Okay. I gave her a call. Yeah. I was supposed to go to her. Alam ko, hindi pumayag eh. Paano kong pinipilin? <laughs> Actually, sabi niya, babalikan kita ha. <laughs> <laughs> babalikan kita ha. Tapos... <laughs> okay, meron audience participation. Meron prank call daw. 
<laughs> okay, sino pa? Sino pa? Um, I, um, I, I met your mom mm-hmm. and uh, Vic. Yeah. They came with me sa pagpili ng ring. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that was a special moment also. Um, my mom. My mom naman, on the other hand, was a different story. Yeah. I, uh, I, I, um, I brought them to Tagaytay and uh, treated them to lunch and then... <laughs> pagkatapos nung busog na, na sila nung busog na sila <laughs> binigay ko lang sa kanila yung uh, plane ticket to Boracay mom we're flying to Boracay next week uh, next week mga two weeks from now mm-hmm. and then I gave her the ring and then she was just shocked <laughs> <laughs> and then when I left um, apparently my, my brother sent a video of my mom mm-hmm. crying because she was looking at my baby picture yeah your mom had a video um in the couch, just looking at your baby photos while crying. While crying. After you told her that you wanted to marry me already. Yeah. But hi, mommy. Well, uh, love uh, naman ako ni Tita Pat. So okay naman. Lang. Yeah. Love din naman ako ni Mama Betcha. Ata, ata. Ata, ata. Andito. Tinatolerate ka naman. So Uh-oh. okay na yun. That's, that's close enough to love. Okay. Konti pa. Konti pa daw. Konti pa daw. Mga 90% na. Yeah. And... And I think with that, we see that true love really conquers all because now we're married. So yeah. we've been married for a little, yeah, more than two weeks now. <laughs> wow. Wow. Surviving. <laughs> surviving. We're really surviving this it marriage. It has been a, an exciting two weeks. Yes. Yeah, so it's a roller coaster ride to say the least. Of course. Yeah. But a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It's, it's, it's a really a big blessing. And I feel like it's all just by God's grace that, you know, people get to survive and have a beautiful marriage with God at the center. But since the theme nga is true love conquers all. So let's go back. So I've actually written down three points that would help you really realize how true love conquers all. Okay. So the first point that I'm going to give is something that we can both discuss. So bawat points pa natin yung discuss. Sige, sige. Lang, and I feel like bo- all of these points we can, we can, you know, relate with. The first one being, relationships are never perfect because human beings are not. Kasi lagi nila sinasabi, di ba? Hashtag relationship goals, hashtag couple goals. But the thing is, the the worst thing that you can do is to really expect perfection from the relationship that you have. Let's put it this way. Maraming tao, maraming tao na magaling magbigay ng advice. A lot mm-hmm. of people, you know, are experts when it comes to giving love advice. But when it comes to um, their own relationships, it, it does it work out the way it you know, it's supposed to. Mm-hmm. Because, uh, as we know, our hearts are deceitful. Yeah. We want what we want, and, and sometimes we're often disappointed by, you know, certain... Ex- expect, uh, we are disappointed by certain expectations mm-hmm. uh, that uh, is set forth, and that's what makes it tough, mm-hmm. you know. Lalo na kapag another um, strong personality ang oh, kasama mo sa relationship... <laughs> <laughs> there, hindi naman negative yun. There are no boring moments with uh, <laughs> the Trevino household. Yes. No Trevino, no, no boring, boring moments. moments. Talaga. So tell them naman the story. How, when was like a, an instance that you realized na, okay, mahirap pala talaga tong relationship thing na to. It's not easy. It's not gonna be perfect. When was that like instance for you? Siyempre kapag boyfriend and girlfriend ka, ibang usapan yun. Mm-hmm. But then when we when we got married and we started living in the same roof, uh, a lot of problems arose when, you know, wala naman dun yun nung, nung una, di ba? Yeah. Because we're, you know, we're two people. Mm-hmm. Two, um, we're set in our ways already. And then we are just living in one 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 roof. So yeah. that's a, a huge adjustment that we both had to make for each other. Yeah. So that's um a really big challenge, I guess, mm. that uh, a lot of people might face also. Yeah, for me also, it was really like just not agreeing on a lot of things. Uh-huh. Parang we had so many differences. You approached problems differently than I did. You like to discuss things. I like to just sweep it under the rug, talk about it some other day. Um, you like to express yourself. I want to just sometimes shut up and not say anything. And there were so many differences that we had to kind of 
adjust to. Yeah. But I realize the thing that we keep saying to one another, commonality is not compatibility. Uh-huh. Sometimes even though you guys don't have a lot of things in common, that doesn't mean that you're not compatible. Because relationships will never be perfect. You will never find the perfect person to be in a relationship with. But mm. the person that you are with in that relationship now will be the right person if you choose for that person to be the right one. Yeah. Diba? If you keep working for that, if you keep um, you know, working hard to make the relationship work, yeah. to keep adjusting, diba? and and loving that person for everything that you are compatible with and everything that you are not. As cliche as it may sound, um, understanding and <laughs> sacrifice is truly the best way to go in relationships. That's true. Okay, so that's relationships are never perfect because human beings are not. So I think the number one thing that we've learned from this relationship really and, and getting married um, is really just not expecting the person that you're with in that relationship to fulfill your happiness uh-huh. and to fulfill this gap and hole in your heart to make you feel like Ah, uh, okay, ready na ako, happy na ako, ganyan. Nobody's ever gonna make you happy. Honestly, like maybe for a couple of weeks, a couple of months, kaya ka nilang pasayahin. But for the rest of your life and for a running time, it's really impossible for someone to make you happy. Only God can do that. And only you can achieve that for yourself, to be satisfied and to be content, right? The person that you should be with in a relationship is someone who will add to your happiness, yeah. not someone who will be the cause of your happiness. Mahirap yung, you complete me. Oh, oh, at saka no. that's too much pressure to have, ah, to put on someone uh-huh. else. Yeah. Oh. maraming pressure sa buhay. Yeah, that's right. And there are so many, there are too many expectations. Para masyadong malaking expectation yun to have for another person in a relationship. Imagine mo kung ako yung laging kailangan cost ng happiness mo, hindi kita pwedeng awayin. Eh, ang sarap mo kayang awayin lang. Hi! <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Awkward laugh. Cold sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Point number two is, the person you should be with is the person who loves the real you. Yeah. Okay, so I'll make cuento naman. Okay, go ahead. And this is, I, I know that Wancha is not comfortable about me talking about past relationships, but it is needed for this one. Is that okay? May okay. I? Yeah, go ahead. So I've been in past relationships where I had to pretend to be somebody else for the person to like me. I had to be more feminine, quote-unquote. I had to be more funny. I had to be more malambing or had to be something else to fit the mold of the person that that I was dating. And I felt like even though I lasted in those relationships, even though I was somehow happy in those relationships, I was never really satisfied because I couldn't really be myself. And I think one of the best advices that I'd ever gotten from someone who was married and who was happily in a relationship was that be with someone who actually loves the real you. All the strengths, all the weaknesses, all the quirks, and all the boring parts. Because if you are with someone and if you marry someone who only likes you for the image that you perceive to them, you'll get tired. And you're also just fooling that person kasi hindi naman talaga ikaw yun eh, di ba? Unfair din to them. Hindi yeah. totoo. Hindi talaga siya totoo. Oh. Ikaw, did you ever experience that before? <laughs> well, obviously, uh, we talked about this before. Mm-hmm. Uh, pero para sa mga nakikinig, um, yeah, that's, that's absolutely true. I mean, um, we're just, everybody's just searching for happiness. Yeah. And I mean, it's just, that kind of world right now. Mm-hmm. But one of the reasons why I decided and and told myself I wanted to marry you because you made me feel that uh, I had, you know, okay na ako eh. Parang you, you accepted me for who I am. Parang part yun ang boss ko. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, you, you, um, you loved me for what I have, mm-hmm. um, for what I bring to the table and yeah. all those other stuff that made me feel comfortable, mm-hmm. you know, in, in making the decision and just being inspired to just work on, work on our relationship yeah. and ourselves individually. So that made me happy and content. 
in short, you didn't have to pretend to be anybody I didn't, else. I didn't yeah. To but you know, I completely understand how maybe there are some people who are listening to this podcast and who are watching this video. Na parang they are in relationships where they kind of have to put a different image of themselves just because to the other just to please the other person. person. And, and and sometimes you know that really happens. And we're not saying that what you're doing is completely wrong, but we're saying that it's something that you can really improve on, yeah. not just for yourself, but also for the person you're in a relationship with. Minsan kasi, the reason why people perceive a different image of who they are in certain relationships is because they want to make that other person happy. And they want to make that person the happy yes, diba? Parang, mm. For me, I pretended to be certain a certain kind of personality because I know that that was the kind of personality that my partner at that time really wanted. And the same to you. And there are some people right now who are listening to the, this podcast who feels that way, right? But one of the things that you can really do is to start praying about it and really just sit down with your partner and slowly walk them through who you really are, what you want to achieve. And then together, if they can accept na this is something that I want to really let go of and, and you know, kind the, of improve. The, ep- the epitome of adulting right there. You yeah. have to be true to yourself. Yeah, you have to be true to yourself. Not only in relationships, you know, also in work, mm-hmm. also in uh, relationships with other people. Yeah. Um, you shouldn't allow, uh, you know, uh, relationships or things of the world to bring you down. Yeah, tsaka parang honesty din talaga. Being honest will really give you power. Parang yeah. it gives you courage. Having the courage to be who you are gives you the courage and the liberty to do so many other things. If you're honest about who you are, what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are, then you have the power to also hone them. Kasi pag hindi ka honest sa sarili mo kung sino ka, wala, magiging stuck ka lang doon, di ba? Parang masastuck ka lang where you May are. May dead end yun eventually. Mm, yeah, tsaka papagod ka. It's, it's hard to be a superhero all the time. You know, <laughs> having double identities, oh. right? Okay, so that was the person you should be with is the person who loves the real you. I love the real you, baby. I love you too. The real you. The realest you. Gusto okay. niyo ba marinay ko ano yung the real okay, Joyce? Okay, ito, ito yung the real. Hindi, <laughs> <laughs> ito talaga, si Joyce. She she is a sweetheart. I'm a sweetheart. Uh, people actually don't um, believe it, but I'm very, very malambing. Malambing siya. Yeah. Diba? Sweet ako. Sweet. Okay. Third point. Teamwork makes the dream work. Couple goals to. Mm-hmm. Um, the thing that I really loved about us was the fact that we always tried to encourage one another and work towards the same goal. Kahit na magkakaiba yung goal natin. Uh-huh. Right? Tama. And uh, if there's one thing that I've I've learned in our counseling is that uh, we have to define the roles in our uh, you know mm-hmm. our relationship, our marriage, and just to agree on them and just to know that this is what we have to do. Yeah. In order to make the dream work. Yeah. So know? teamwork makes the dream work. Uh-huh. Um, for everyone who's listening. How you'll know that you're going to marry the right person, that person needs to be your number one encourager. That person needs to also be a source of strength. But that person also needs to be someone that you can trust to grow and to become the person that you want to be. Because sometimes, parang iniisip mo lang na, ah, ito yung person na magugustan ko or papakasalan ko kasi ano siya, parang guwapo siya. Or makapalkilay. Makapalkilay. Matangkad. Teka. <laughs> Teka. Ano na lang, ano na, Bonus, icing on the cake. Ah, uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sobrang feeling icing on the cake. Okay. Yeah, but those are good things too. I mean, of course, you're allowed to have preferences. But one of the most important decisions that you have to make is to really look at this person and ask yourself, will this person grow with me? Or will this person really help me to grow as well? Don't you agree? I agree. And that's how I felt towards you. Um, um, during the start of our relationships, it was all learning from me, from my side. Um, I, I know that I have a lot of growing to do. But with you, I, 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 I feel mature. Wow. <laughs> I feel mature. I, I, feel, um, I feel happy. I feel, I, I feel happy because... God put you in my life, uh, and I know that God put you in my life for a reason. Mm-hmm. 
And um, as we always say, that your strengths are my weaknesses, and my weaknesses are your strengths. So just like what Joyce mentioned earlier, she's more logic, and I'm more emotion. So... <laughs> <laughs> pagkatapos sa amin mag-away pag, pag, pagkatapos sa amin mag-away about it you know we just kind of um, uh, take a take a step back and analyze the things ako that, yung nag-analyze ikaw yung nag-feel uh, uh, we, we kind of uh, yeah we, we, we do that every time we fight we talk about what which just happened mm-hmm. you you make me realize a lot of things that you know I I don't realize yeah so that makes me grow and yeah. mature Yeah, so I think more than anything, find that person that will really push you to be the best version of who you are. You know, we'll never really find the perfect partner because there is no such thing, but you will find the partner. And when you find the best parts about that person, when you appreciate that best parts, and when you find the partner who will actually help you grow and hone those best parts and even strengthen the weaknesses. Type part. Huh? Thai part. Ah, ba? Mali. Ay, hindi Thai part. Hindi yun. Ay. Iba yun. Iba pala yun. Iba yun. <laughs> Basta teamwork makes the, the dream, dream work. work. Iba lab. Akala ko Thai part ng chicken joint. Ay, nako. Iba. Mali. Pero tama naman. Tama yung three <laughs> points natin. At dahil dyan, let's move on now to the phone-in questions from our followers on Instagram. Oh, Thank wow. you again. Yes. Ayan na may phone-in question, no? Okay. From Erd LPL, the question is, how has been the adjustment season now that you guys are married? What are the things that you've been adjusting? Well, just living with you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> living with you. Yeah. Well, it's a big it, adjustment. Yeah, it's a big adjustment. We, we've mentioned earlier how, how hard it is to just put two um, different, adults, yeah. different people in, under one roof. Mm-hmm. So that has been the biggest adjustment for me. Ano pa ba? Um, just um, the schedules. Yeah. And all the other stuff na kailangan gawin natin as a married couple already. I have to, you know, we both have to just consult each other whenever um, may mga decisions kami na kailangan gawin. Yeah. Because it, it won't just, you know, affect my life. It would, it would also affect yours. Yeah. So, yun, adjustment yun. Sobrang daming adjustments talaga. But I think that's when we realize that really true love conquers all. Because even if there's a lot of difficulties, a lot of adjustments, if you work hard and if you try to work around every little thing that you have to achieve, then you'll eventually figure it out. Um, the number one and most important thing that Wanch and I have figured out was to always keep God at the center of our relationship, at the center of our marriage, so that any time na hindi kami nag-a-agree sa isang bagay, ang titignan namin na standard is what does God's word say? What does the Lord say? What does our counsel- counselor say? What do our counselors say? Ano ba yung biblical way to go about it para hindi yung individual wants and needs natin yung nasusunod? And true enough, because of that, we always find like an amicable response to everything, to every disagreement that we have and that just uh, not not forces us it, it it encourages us to mature even more yeah it, it you re- you grow so much in the past few weeks I've grown so much but I I never thought that I could grow this much in such a short span of <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry <laughs> achievement unlocked grabe ibang levels um but yeah and and to add to that isang mababaw lang na na what are the biggest adjustments also like just doing groceries for two people ang hirap niya men Mm-mm. ang hirap niya oh, lalo na 6-1 ako oo, 180 parang, oo nga eh, hindi ko alam kung paano ano ipapakain dati si Bowie lang pinapakain kaya nga yun. dati si Bro- Bowie lang problema ko eh kan-kan goods lang yun eh <laughs> buti na lang may Jollibee order na lang kita <laughs> <laughs> mabilis lang <laughs> mabilis lang okay last question naman from Dear Paul PH Any advice for those waiting for the right time to love someone? Ang ganda nito kasi someone. tayo we waited. Yes, we did. Mm-hmm. For uh, six years. Oh. I waited. You waited for six years. How <laughs> sweet. What's your advice, love, for people who are waiting to write, to love the right one? You shouldn't wait for it, you know. Um, Kakasabi mo lang, you waited for me, tapos bilang, you shouldn't hindi. wait for it. <laughs> oh, contradicting nga, no? Oh. Ngayon ko lang na-realize. <laughs> I, I didn't wait for you. I uh, dreamed for you, mm. but I didn't wait. Um, 
hindi ko naman hinintay na makapag-UH ka. I mean, I, I just wish that happened. But, you know, God made a way for you to be in UH with me. Um, if you're if you're waiting kasi you're putting pressure on yourself. Mm. So if you put pressure on yourself, it's um, sort of um, unneeded stress. Yeah. That you, magmamadali ka eh. Parang mm. gano'n, parang feeling mo magmamadali ka. You know, uh, probably you're, you're nearing your 30s and, and that's, that's when you're supposed to get married and what if, wala, wala pa naman talaga doon. Ano, sh- should you force it or should you just, kahit sino na lang, di ba? Mm. You shouldn't do that. You know, you should, one, pray for it. Um, and just put yourself out there, you know? But you can't just uh, keep telling everybody na, na this is what I want my partner to be. Hindi mo pwedeng gawin yun, mm-hmm. di ba? Hindi mo pwedeng filter lahat ng bagay. And just open yourself up to loving and knowing other people. Yeah. But I think naman, sorry, yeah. But I think it's okay naman to have standards. And obviously, and, obviously. And obviously like to to like filter out some of the things. So meron kang non-negotiables. Yun lang naman. Oh, naman Kung yes. meron kang mga non-negotiables, make sure na those non-negotiables are met, right? Like what you did to me. Yes, like what I what I asked from you. Yeah. But then every other thing, I think one of the things that really helped me was I just opened up myself as you said to the other things na hindi ko naman non-negotiable so na na achieve naman siya di ba parang dati hindi ko naman for example i preferred not having a boyfriend i, I preferred having a boyfriend who wasn't in showbiz pero hindi ko naman siya non-negotiable so when you came in i was like okay fine hindi ko siya preference pero hindi ko naman siya non-negotiable so mm-hmm. okay lang yeah. um and one of the other a couple of other things that i think you have to remember while you're waiting siguro not waiting for the right person or just waiting to have that opportunity to love someone yeah. is to really just focus on God and focus on yourself because those are the two things that I really tried. Focus on God meaning that I harness that relationship with God and I really just seek after Him which also overflowed into seeking after relationships with my family and my friends. I really spent a lot of time with them. I did a lot of charity work. I spent time with my family and I really harnessed all the energy and all the love that I had to them instead of anybody else. And then I focused on myself. I traveled a lot. I studied a lot. I worked out a lot. I worked a lot. And I did all of these things that helped me grow and hone who I was as a woman. So that the time that you came, even though I didn't know you were coming, I was ready na pala. Wonderful. Wow. Gusto mo yun. O, di ba? Yay. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's You'll have to love God and love yourself. Yes, first, before you really end up loving another person. And, alam mo, madami talagang forms of love. There are so many other forms of love. Family, friends, work, God, everybody, pet love, di ba? Marami ka pang ways to express love. So, don't, don't feel like you're stuck somewhere or but. don't feel that you have to you know uh, jump on the bandwagon of having a, a relationship or mm-hmm. having having to get pressured of being married at a certain age mm-hmm. you know kailangan kailangan mag-focus ka lang sa mga importanteng bagay mo. yes because the right person at the right time will come just like what happened to us bring home the one yeah married life married life married life Anyways. <laughs> drive through type away. Huh? Drive through. Hindi meron dyan Jollibee. Ang bahal na sa'yo. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so that pretty much sums up our Kwentong Jollibee True Love Conquers All One Choice Edition. Thank you, my love, for being on the podcast. Of course. I had no choice. <laughs> I had Joyce. I you, had a Joyce. <laughs> you you made the right choice. Thank you, I love. Right um, we hope you guys enjoyed this episode and we hope that you learned a couple of things. Let us know what your favorite part was of the episode. And of course, kung meron din naman kayong sarili niyong true love conquers all na story. Katulad na lang ng paghihintay ng six years ni Wancho bago niya ako napakasalan. Please do let us know at Joy Spring. At Wancho Trevino. And that's it for Adulting with Joy Spring. We'll see you guys again soon. Paalam. Say bye, baby. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>